Hey there, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden, and we're here to help you become a better gardener. Hey guys. Hey. Yeah. So today we're doing fall garden cleanup. We got a couple tasks yep. we need to do out here. Go figure. This is our front yard garden, which we converted a couple years ago from lawn into garden beds and other be uh, raised beds and whatnot. Yep. And we've got a couple perennials that we need to clean up and get ready for this winter. We also have some annuals that we need to just there rip out I know, and some fine. other things. So we're going to show you uh, what we're going to do today and we'll explain each thing that we're doing along the way. So the first task we have to do out here for our fall garden cleanup is we need to cut back some of our perennials like these Shasta daisies. Now uh, you've heard us talk about this in the past where we don't want to cut all of this away because we want to provide some habitat for you know insects and dis different critters out here through the winter. So we're going to still cut this back but we're not going to cut it back all the way. We're going to cut it back about half and we're going to just even it out and we'll just leave the rest of this um, for over the winter and then in the springtime we'll come back and cut the rest of it but at least we'll have that for the habitat. We're gonna treat this Shasta daisy like that and all these other ones over here and we, we'll probably get over to the other ones today too but you might not see that on camera. Like so there. yeah so what we're gonna use we could use the hand printers to do it but you know that's gonna take a lot of time just to do that way. We can also use our manual head shears. These are Corona. Links, links are down below for all these tools and so I'm just gonna take these and just pick a point. I don't have to be really selective about where I cut it. I just know I want it to be about halfway and here we go. And I can start a line like that and then I can use that line that I just put in there as my guide to cut out the rest of this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to, we just need to make sure that it's taken down halfway and it's got some type of shape so it looks like it's being kept at some level. So you also might be asking, why are you even cutting these back anyway? Uh, can't you just leave it? And it's like, yeah, you can, but you're eventually going to have to cut these back even in the springtime because you want to clear all of this, all of these stems and all this growth for the new flush of growth that's going to come up this coming spring. If you don't, these will still be here and it's perfectly fine. It's just going to look kind of ratty with all these dead leaves and stems. So to make it look nice, a lot of people cut them all the way down to about one or two inches off the ground, maybe three inches off the ground. And that leaves all of this open for all the new growth and all the new stems that are going to come up this next spring. So whether you do this now or you do it in the spring, it needs to be done. All right, well, Sean uh, takes care of these last couple. Actually, that one's pretty much done, huh? Yep. I'm going to, I'll just give this one a really close shave. Okay. And then uh, I'll keep going on the shafts over here. While Sean's getting uh, do, taking care of that task, we're going to look around and talk about a couple other things we need to take care of today for fall cleanup. Cool. So, see you in a little bit, guys. Okay, good luck. Over here, we've got we had a beautiful full bed full of zinnias and cosmos, and actually, almost all of these came back from last year, so that was kind of cool. We didn't even have to like plant anything. So we, you can see, they look kind of bad. Like obviously, they've run their course, but the problem is they're still blooming up top. So, I don't know, we're going to talk about that. There's some things we can cut back. The zinnias obviously are annuals here, even though they're still green and some of them are still blooming, we might maybe get in there and start cutting some of those back. We also have a ton of glads in our front yard. Um, we love glads, you probably do too, and maybe are growing some of your own. But as you notice, they're still fully green. So we've got a lot of, um, of deadheading to do though, because we never, we kind of left these to see if the birds would go after them. And some of them do. Some of the little chickadees got in here and ate a few of the seeds out. So hopefully they got everything they needed. Okay, so Sean took care of that little bundle uh, or a bunch of lads. What's next? So just got to keep going around oh, yeah, the, we've got the corner more. here. Got some more to take care of. We're digging, I'm deadheading these uh, these gladiolas. If you want to know how to do this, we have an actual video on this. I think we did a short on it yes, I uh, believe, about a yes. month or so ago. And so look up above for that card on the screen and uh, you'll be able to click on that and go see how we do that. So with that, I'm just going to keep going here. I know these are some things we've just been kind of putting off. Uh, the weather's been a little rainy here in the Pacific Northwest, mm -hmm. which we really desperately need because it was it, we've had such a big drought going on this whole year pretty much. So we're not complaining about the rain, but it's been a little too wet to get outside, right? Yeah, it has. It's been really bad, so. Let's see what else. We've got some glads here. Those, we already deadheaded those. Yep. And then we've got more glads over here. Those are all deadheaded. Yep, yep, yep. Looking good. So, got so. some of these. I'm gonna get these. 
So we've got uh, some Leatris everywhere. Yep. And the, the seeds are all gone. You yeah, can tell total, oh, on these. So, fuzzy, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut these off. To be honest, I kind of love these for interests right now though. Yeah. I'm going to get some of the stragglers that are just kind of coming out, popping out, but yeah, we can leave them. I mean, they're kind of ugly down there, but like, I kind of like them. I don't know. Is that weird? Okay, so next, Allison was telling you about our zinnias and I our know. cosmos. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Um, I'll tell you what I think we should do. I'm probably I know just gonna what he's going to say. We're just going to rip it all out because um, we have time right now to do it and probably not going to have a lot of time to do it later. Plus, the weather's great right now. It's between uh, squalls, uh, rain squalls. So I think what we need to do is just take care of it just right attack. now and get it done. Let me say goodbye. Thank you, Zinnias, oh, for all your beauty and cosmos, and cosmos for all your beauty. This is our candy stripe. You guys were amazing this year. There's a cupcake, which is actually pretty much a toast, but there's still more blooming right over here. Yep, sorry guys. And we've got some Lilliput yep. Zinnias, and you know what? You're right. They need to go. I mean, I really don't like looking at that, but. Yep. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs>
Um, but yeah, we'll come through and just get all these off and prune some of that out a little bit later after we get it in the greenhouse. Okay. So there's one. So there's that. But we actually took cuttings of these African daisies as well, and we're excited because we can add more of those to our garden. Yeah. It's a beautiful color. Yeah. So. so what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm just coming out maybe about a couple inches, three or so inches, and just loosening up the soil around it. You can see it's coming out fairly easy. So I'll bring it out here. You can see it. Uh, the pot was right about here, and you can see it's the new roots. That's, oh, that's cool. Yep, yeah. the new root structure on it. It did, it did really well, just like the other one. Yay. So I'll set her down. We'll get some of this soil, put that in the bottom, and uh, then we'll place it in there. Gonna be kind of another tight fit, but that's okay. There we go. Actually, they. They look pretty good in these one gallon pots. I know, they they look so, tight, but like they'll be fine for over winter and then we'll plant them again. And uh, we'll wait to prune them until about this spring because uh, we don't want to prune them and encourage new growth out in the cold weather to have that new growth that isn't hardened off yet to get blasted uh, by, the, uh, by the cold temperatures and damaged by the cold temperatures. So we're just going to leave these as is and then about late winter, early spring, we'll give them a haircut, prune them, and then they're going to come back better than ever. Awesome. Yay. Another task checked off the list. Boom. Check. Okay, you guys, the last task on our list, just for today anyway, is to take care of this uh, dahlia bed area. We just built these raised beds earlier this spring, and oh my gosh, I am actually really sad to say goodbye. We still have some blooming going on. Just look. Oh, those are gorgeous. I think these might be the last of the dahlias, but they are still blooming. I mean, look at this. Yep. These are beautiful. We got these from Eden Brothers, and we've been very, very impressed and happy with their um, their vigor. Yep. They've been awesome. So what are we keeping? What are we taking? Oh, out? gosh. I want to keep everything, but I know we can't. Now, we still have nasturtium actively growing down here, so I guess we could leave that. All of these beautiful red-yellow bicolor profusion zinnias probably need to come out. We've got a lot of zinnias behind there that are just done. So I guess all those are coming out. So sad. We'll leave the, leave the dahlia. This whole bed, which was so beautiful, still kind of blooming, but these are these are pretty much done. Yeah, everything's pretty much done. It needs to come out. It's all seasonal. Very much. So, so up here, we've got some nasturtium also. We, I kind of want to get that one out because that's kind of taken over that whole walkway. Oh, yeah. Almost everything up here, except a couple of the dahlias, will probably take out. So one thing we didn't mention yet, um, the dahlias out here are able to overwinter here in our zone 8B, so we're not going to take those out of the ground. What we're gonna do is cut them back a little bit, maybe deadhead as needed, but we're gonna leave the green. As you can see, they're all still actively, like they're very green still. So we'll cut them back. We'll let them photosynthesize and continue building up energy for next year. We'll come back in, maybe in a couple months and cut them all the way back once they brown and withered all the way to the ground. So basically we just need to get to work and get going on pulling out what we can. Okay, we switched spots. Sean's going to get started Just here. Just going to grip and rip. He likes ripping. Bye, zinnias. Yep, bye, zinnias. So we're doing the zinnias first so we can have a good idea of what we're looking at here. And uh, it'll make uh, pruning and deadheading and cutting out the dead of the, uh, of the dahlias a lot easier once we get all the, the zinnias and other lower growers out of here. Ooh little windy today. I know it is windy. Okay, you guys, it's starting to really rain on us, so we're going to wrap this up. We got everything cleaned up behind us, so um, yeah. it's kind of sad, but, you know, it was a wonderful yeah. season. We're happy to have had all these beautiful plants, and yep. we can't wait to see them next year. Dahlias grew really well right we here as it was expected and uh, so did the zinnias the verbena the petunias so awesome wait till next year yep totally so hey guys if you have any questions or comments about what we did here today go ahead and leave those down below for us we love hearing from you and make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you get updates on our latest videos and thank you for watching and for being here good luck on your own fall garden cleanup and we'll see you in our next video see you later bye guys bye bye